Welcome to WebStyle Press. Forking a repository involves creating a personal copy of someone else's repository in your own account, allowing you to make changes without affecting the original repository. Here is how you can fork a repository on GitHub. You should be logged into GitHub. Find a repository that you want to fork. So this is my GitHub account and this is a repository that is on another GitHub account. I want to fork it. So to fork it, I will click this icon. It says fork. So now GitHub is creating a copy of that repository in my account. I will click create fork. Now this is the fork. You see front end training forked from this address. So the forked repository is completely independent of the original. We can clone it, push to it, pull from it and manage it as if it were any repository we had created ourselves. So has it got any connection to the original then? Yes, although independent, the forked repository maintains a link to the original. This allows you to submit pull requests to the original repository. You can also pull changes from the original repository into your fork to keep it up to date. You can clone your fork locally. For example, copy the address, git bash, git clone, and now we have cloned that forked repository. Go inside the directory and git bash there or open terminal there. So from here, you can add the original repository as a remote called upstream. Then you can fetch the changes from original using this command, git fetch upstream. You can merge changes into your local branch using this command, git checkout main. You can merge changes from the upstream repository into your branch using this command, git merge upstream slash main. And then you can push the updated local branch to your fork on GitHub using this command, git push origin main. This ensures that your fork remains an active and up-to-date reflection of the original repository, which is crucial if you are planning to contribute back to the original project via pull requests. So this is how you can fork a repository and work with it. Okay, if you want more Git and GitHub tips, Make sure you like the video, subscribe to the channel and I will see you in the next one.